Salam, hello, welcome to this little introduction into the Arabic language. Ismi Gosha, my name is Gosha. Ana min Bulanda, I'm from Poland. Ana Mudarisa wa Taliba, I'm a teacher and a student. I've just said three complete sentences without using a single verb. Why? Because in the Arabic language, the verb to be doesn't exist in the present tense. And that makes learning Arabic much easier, but only at the beginning. When you want to know how to write those sentences, you get stuck very easily. At first, I wanted to learn how to say something in the Arabic language, but then I discovered this. They gave me goosebumps. I couldn't resist the temptation. I said to myself, Gosha, you have to know what they mean. You have to decipher those hieroglyphs. It wasn't difficult because the Arabic letters behave like some people. Look at these three letters, B, E and H. Look how they change when they are used to write a word. This is the form at the beginning, this is the form in the middle, and this is the form at the end of a word. They change their shape constantly. They love disguising themselves to mislead the reader. So they just like me. I was born under the sign of Gemini, so I'm just like them. Perfectly unstable, constantly changing, two-faced and playful. So I fell in love with the Arabic script. As a true Gemini, I'm also a born teacher, so I want to teach you today some words that contain these three letters, B, E and H. The letters have to connect to what follows them. So, B and A form the syllable BA. When you write the syllable twice, you've got ba ba, which means that. And here you've got bab, it is door. Here is a word which starts with b, bulanda, Poland. And here you've got a word which ends with ba. Marhaba. The difficult thing about the Arabic script is that the Arabs don't write the short vowels. They write only the long vowels like this one, ah. So here you've got two short vowels, ah. Mar, ha, ba, and this is very difficult for a beginner. Here another example. H, b, hab. Again without the short vowel a. Hab means love. Now you are able to decipher this word. H, B, E, 
de, i. And here comes the short vowel a. Habibi. Habibi. I'm sure you know what it means. And the last word for today is this one. You see again the letter H and the letter P. This is K. Oh, hibuk. When I'm talking to a man, oh, hibuka, I love you. When I'm talking to a woman, oh, hibuki, I love you. I don't know yet how to say I love you to a group of people. So I just say shukran, thank you. Masalama.